Hogwarts Legacy modding has completely taken off since release. Modders have immediately taken to resolving some of the game's largest problems and the big complaints from the community. The game also already has a full-scale overhaul mod released, new and unique ways to cheat in the game, and even new features like VR support and multiplayer are now kind of here for Hogwarts Legacy. Ascendio has quickly risen to become the single most popular mod available right now. What it's going to do is boost your performance, which for PC players is desperately needed. This mod features a quick and easy to use installer that's going to patch your game, and after testing this out for myself, it actually works pretty well. The biggest difference Ascendio is going to make is you'll notice that the FPS drops and stutters you typically get in Hogwarts Legacy on PC are largely gone. My walking around FPS was pretty similar, I didn't notice a huge difference, but without the mod, as I was trying to run through Hogwarts itself, I would oftentimes get longer and more severe FPS drops. But with this mod installed, you'll notice that my FPS is just generally higher and way more consistent. I could definitely see this somewhat in Hogs Me, but I felt it most often when in Hogwarts itself. Although the mod does have some drawbacks, you're going to occasionally notice some textures loading in. The first time you load in, it'll be the most dramatic, but also what'll be the biggest drawback for a lot of PC players is it doesn't actually work with ray tracing. So it seems like as of right now, it's really going to be geared towards medium to low end systems, but if you do have a medium to low end system, this is a game changer. You should almost certainly see a pretty nice performance improvement. The talent reset potion is from what I could tell the first piece of cut content restored for Hogwarts Legacy. As the title does suggest, once this potion is taken, it'll reset all of your talent points. So you'll have all those talent points restored and be able to spend them on whatever you want. Those early game mistakes are no longer permanent. This is really well integrated as well. You do have to purchase the recipe for this potion then actually brew it for yourself at a crafting table. But then we do have what I think is one of the coolest mods ever. If you want to feel like a true wizard in Hogwarts Legacy, you need to download Mouse Gesture to Spell. What this mod will do is give you access to all of the slottable spells in Hogwarts Legacy without having to deal with switching through those spell pages. In principle, it's really simple. Now in game, you can click the right mouse button in and move your mouse in a certain direction and it'll cast one of your slotted spells. So you can see here, I hold down the right mouse button, slightly move my mouse to the left, and then release the mouse button and I'll cast the spell slotted in the first slot. If I do the same thing, but instead move my mouse to the right, I'll cast the spell in the second slot. This will extend to up and down also, and even different combinations of movements, which will allow you to cast these spells on the other pages as well. So with a bit of practice and actually learning all these different combos, you can cast every single spell in the game without having to switch any spell pages. It takes a bit of time to get used to in combat, but my god, if you really want to feel like a wizard, this is incredibly fun. You need this mod. It's going to make the combat far more enjoyable and interactive, and although there is a bit of a learning curve, after playing with this for a couple of hours, I totally got the hang of things, and I will definitely be keeping this mod for the rest of my playthrough. And take note, because I'll continue to use this mod throughout the rest of this video, so you'll definitely continue to see it popping up. In a somewhat similar vein, Mouse Controls for Broom allows you to control the direction of your broom on PC by only using the mouse. This is incredibly simple and very intuitive. Basically, just move your mouse in the direction you want your broom to go in, and your broom will go in that direction. Like in this background footage you are seeing, I am only using the mouse. My hand is literally off my keyboard. It's not going to be a full-on replacer, though. You can still use mouse and keyboard at the same time, but this mod does genuinely make broom flying more fun and definitely feel a bit more fluid. Although, if you do want to upgrade the difficulty of Hogwarts Legacy, you do need a difficulty mod. And yeah, that is literally the name of this mod. I love mods like this. What it's going to do is make enemies hit a bit harder and actually have faster reaction times, but they're also going to have slightly lower HP. So if you're somebody who's already been playing Hogwarts Legacy on the highest difficulty and finding the game a bit too easy, this is the perfect way to up the ante. It's not just going to make the enemies in the game spell sponges, but instead it'll make the combat feel genuinely faster. It almost just feels like all of the enemies AI got a bit smarter. Everything is snappier, the attacks are a bit harder hitting, and it just makes timing those dodges and counters all the more important. And if that's still not hard enough for you, Hogwarts Legacy has already gotten its first comprehensive overhaul mod. Accio Massicism allows you to overhaul the game from top to bottom in the idea of making it more difficult. There'll be more enemy spawns, more enemy health, harder challenges to complete, more expensive recipes to buy, and even a higher level requirement for talents, and a bunch of other options if you're interested. But transitioning over to some of the quality of life mods, modders have been working to resolve some of the biggest complaints fans have had thus far with Hogwarts Legacy. Insomnia is going to make it so even at nighttime, the common rooms are still going to have a fair amount of students in them, it's no longer going to be complete desolation. The dot reticle mod will make it so your reticle is now just a little tiny dot, as opposed to the oddly large circle it was previously. You can complement that with smaller UI, which is going to notably decrease the size of the UI in game, 
making it far less intrusive. The map being smaller in particular is quite handy. You still have the same amount of information on screen, it just doesn't take up nearly as much of your screen. Auto Homora will make it so when you are using the unlocking spell, it'll actually unlock the lock. It'll remove the lock picking minigame entirely, so the spell just does its magic. Accelerated Alchemy will remove the mobile game like timers from planters and potion brewing, so things are near instant. There's going to be a few optional versions of this mod, so if you don't want things to literally be one second, you can just make it so the timers are a bit shorter. The Hogwarts Legacy Save Game Editor allows you to edit nearly everything about your character. You can unlock every single fast travel point, give yourself more items, or even unlock every spell. And it's incredibly easy to use, as you can do it directly from your internet browser. But even beyond just cheating in the game, modders have started to add in some even crazier features. Hogwarts Legacy now has VR support thanks to a mod. This is the real VR framework created by Luke Ross. It supports a ton of different games and admittedly looks a little bit rough on camera, but it is a completely unique experience nonetheless. Getting to explore the magic of Hogwarts while being able to actually look around in a VR headset is pretty awesome. I don't think this is currently suitable to actually play the entire game with, and it may never be. Combat in VR definitely feels pretty odd, and in general, playing third-person games from a VR perspective is just not super great. But at the same time, it is absolutely wild and somewhat magical to experience Hogwarts Legacy in VR, even if it's not really suitable for a full playthrough. But something that may soon be suitable for a full playthrough is multiplayer. Hog Warp is a Hogwarts Legacy multiplayer mod that is being developed by the Together team. This is the same group of people that added multiplayer to Skyrim, and they even invited me to try out this mod early, although I failed at getting it working. So thankfully, they uploaded a bunch of videos online, and this is simply insane. The early gameplay that got a lot of views was just some of that initial testing, this being done just days after the release of Hogwarts Legacy. But since then, they've actually uploaded more gameplay of 10 different people connected to a Hogwarts Legacy server and all playing the game together. And considering we're just like a week in at this point when this gameplay was recorded, things look really freaking good. And they even shared some other videos of features being added like Outfit Sync. Typically, when you see multiplayer mods being added to a single player game, it is either a pipe dream or years away. But this one looks absolutely incredible and like it has some serious potential already. And I'm definitely not the only person that thinks that, as there are already role playing communities being set up around Hogwarts Legacy on Discord intending to use this mod. But one of the other pretty major quality of life improvements added to Hogwarts Legacy just recently is that gap. You're cruising around the mean streets of Hogwarts where horrifying monsters are quite literally just steps away, so you best be strapped in case those dark wizards try to step up. For as outlandish of a mod this wandry texture is, I also kind of love it. It works surprisingly well, but I can already see some of the comments about how this isn't lore friendly, it doesn't make sense. Obviously Hogwarts Legacy is taking place in the late 1800s. Unfortunately, I got the connect, so we also do have the 1851 Colt Revolver. This is going to be a much better and far more lore friendly alternative mod, and although this one definitely looks cool, at least for me, it just doesn't have that same presence. But did you know that Hogwarts Legacy also has a bunch of secret features? You can check out some of those in this video. Otherwise, I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys found this one enjoyable, but until next time, I'll see you later.